What's up? I saw the Dragon Ball movie. We're back. I'm here. Right after the movie, these are my thoughts, okay? Well, let me tell you, right off the bat, let me give you a scale from 10 to 10. 7 point... What is it? What did I give it? 6? Yeah, 7.6. That's that's my thing, okay? They really hyped this one up for a while. Um, I liked it, though. It was good. It was a solid drag ball movie. I was just, you know, it's hard to top Broly. That was such a good one. Even though I didn't see that one in the theaters, I regret it, but maybe that uh, would have been different. But um, the, the theater was good. I went to a dine-in theater. Uh, the audience was pretty good, you know? Not too over obnoxious obnoxious not too excited but not too dead i tried to hype it up sometimes you know cheer when i felt like it was pretty cool it was cool man um i was uh surprised at some points many points during the film which is good you know don't want to expect everything even though i saw a lot of I, uh, this movie i went in on the spoilers i didn't care for this one I just looked at the spoilers. There were so many. I gave into it. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe it would have been higher in the scale. I don't know how you can not avoid it. But I'll try to avoid spoilers. I, I don't. I think it really takes away when uh, when I know a little bit of something because I, I I try to piece it together, or I, I think I piece it a lot together beforehand how it gets to that point. But uh, considering. Without that, uh, pretty good. Um, this will be the non-spoiler section, I guess, and then I'll go into spoilers later on. Um, yeah, a lot of surprises. Not too many boring parts, if at all. Pretty uh, s moves it right along. I'm not sure how long the movie was. I was there for about uh, two hours. It seems like a usual movie. Um, yeah, it was good, good there, without spoiling anything. Um, spoiler time? Um, I liked it, man. I didn't hate it. You know, it's not like, I didn't like the Hirudagan movie. Like, that, that took a long time. It's kind of, I was getting to spoiler territory now. This kind of felt like. The Hirudagan movie. Even though there was a lot of action in the beginning. But Hirudagan, kind of like all the action happened later, it felt like. If I remember correctly. But again, the Broly movie. Tough to tap. But pretty solid as a Dragon Ball movie. It goes in line with the Battle of Gods. Uh, it fits in there. The Broly movie is just so hyped, though. I don't know. If, can't even... But this one's good. I felt like, though, they needed... More Gohan at the end. They could have had more at the end. I felt like, you know, the beginning, it was all leading up to Gohan doing this. Uh, showing what he could do. And sure, he did it. But uh, I felt like they could have done a little more with him. Do we really have to wait for the next one? Three years more? Um... So, let's talk about from the beginning. Um, you know, Piccolo's training pen. I mean, I don't know why he's just, he's just that guy. I guess he's kind of very Earthling-like now. He has a cell phone. He's very kind. Um, training pen. He takes the time to do a lot of things for Gohan's family. That's, that's, that's his family. He's family. Um, so, there's that. And the androids being created, I, I it was it felt believable, in an unbelievable world. Uh, kind of random. It fits though. It could be canon. I could see it. It is canon, I guess. Is it canon? Um, they did that. At first, yeah. They did that. Yeah, the androids came along there. It made a little sense. The Red Ribbon Army is pretty big. I don't know how they missed that on the map there. Well, I guess the androids they had technology. Are they just going to keep popping up? Or is this the real end of them? Um, probably the end. Well, then you have Super 17 plus GT. 
uh, is the the heroes touching touching story. Um, people died in this movie. Okay, people died. Uh, almost traumatized Pan by kidnapping, but luckily they they they, writ, they wrote that well enough not to do that. Uh, Piccolo looks good in this one. He looks younger. Doesn't look like he's just like sitting around. A side character. He looks like a main character now. Like he could actually take Goku's spot in some shots. Like it's like, wow, that he's the guy right now. Uh, towards the end, especially. Um, same with Gohan. Like I really see this. You know, this movie made me see that it is it might be possible to actually have Dragon Ball without Goku and Vegeta. Um, it's pretty good there. So um, Piccolo's into the Red Ribbon Army base. He's uh, checking it out. I guess that makes sense, you know. He just flies out of there, though, and no one notices. Um, that's cool, though. Uh, they can't get, they can't contact Goku or Vegeta. It's all plausible. I'm okay with all that stuff. Bulma getting uh, cosmetic surgery. I mean, that's something. That's something. That's something to show. I'm surprised they showed that much. Uh, they went there. They really went there. With um, um, does this have an E rating? It almost went all the way. I mean, it really did. A close-up on Bulma's butt after she got butt lift. I mean, they went there. They were there. <clears throat> we were there. Uh, so I went with my Super Saiyan hair and my shirt, by the way. Everyone has this shirt, like, somehow. All, every Dragon Ball fan has it. And, then, like, it's, like, too small for their body, too. Um... Anyway, so yeah, that happens. Piccolo gets an upgrade. Uh, it's just something to show. You know, Dende's upgrading. He just pours some juice on Shenron, and uh, Piccolo gets the power. You know, I can see that, sure. So now, is this the end of Piccolo's potential now? Now is the limit. That's pretty strong, though. I'd say strong as... Uh, seems like it takes a lot out of him. Quick, but he lasted a while. His new form. I, I like Piccolo's form more, maybe more than Gohan's form. His new form. Um, I really like that. I like how his arms are like almost. It looks like the skin peeled off him, and they really used utilized his uh, stretchy arm and size manipulation. I don't know why, but Piccolo's feet were huge in this one too, though. This movie. Piccolo's feet were huge, as well as Cell. Maximum's feet. He had like boots on. It looked like that's okay though. Just pointing that out there. I don't know if they're gonna stick with that. I don't know why they went there. Maybe Piccolo just resizes his shoes now. You know, they're not. He has that ability. I think he can just do that. I don't know why he chose that route. Maybe for stability, to be more stable in a fight. The feet. Uh, I think I feel like I've said this before. But, uh, yeah, the androids are pretty cool. I like them. They have their own uniqueness to them. They look like still juniors a little. I thought they were going to be absorbed or something. But, uh, you know, Maximum Cell was cool, too. Too bad. It was really hype and kind of horror. A horror feel about it when he was released. Maximum Cell. I was getting really hyped for the battle. I was very interested in seeing, like, what kind of personality he had. But Cell, he, he yelled a lot. He yelled, Oh! And, uh... I guess that's because he wasn't really ready to be released yet, so he kind of didn't have a personality too much. But it was cool to see him. He had, uh... It was kind of like how Krillin imagined Freeze's form would be. That's how Cell looks in this one. He looks like second form mixed with the final form. Cell. Perfect Cell. And, uh, he utilizes his wings there. He actually used that in a battle. That was cool. Um, it was really, it really was like a boss raid battle for an MMO or something. Pretty hype. The crowds cheered a lot. Not too much. I cheered at parts where it was silent. No one else cheered. But then people laughed at parts where I didn't really laugh. So it was that we were just on opposite sides there. Uh, but that, you know, it was fun to hear them laugh at. So I was interesting to see what they thought was funny. I was like, okay, that's they like that. They really thought that was funny. I don't know, really. But anyway, 
I don't even know what the joke was they were laughing at. You know, just all those jokes. Those small in-between jokes that you don't really... I guess people like that. It's not me. Uh, I didn't find that funny at all. Not at all. But anyway, so Gohan's new form. It looks like Majin Vegeta. Piccolo's new form has, like, the dark eyes, like Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 eyes, or Majin Vegeta. I don't know how strong he is. He seems like Super Saiyan 3 power. Maybe max Super Saiyan 2. I don't know. Or maybe Unleashed Piccolo is Super Saiyan 2. And then o Orange Piccolo is Super Saiyan 3. Leaning towards there. Maybe. I'd say. Um, then we had a lot of Goku versus Vegeta fights. Well, there was one fight that was going on during the movie. Which I went on longer than I thought it would. Based on what I saw in Twitter clips. So that was cool. Pretty good to watch there. They had an after credit scene. Um, which was okay. It was good. Um, yeah, the Cell boss battle. People died, okay? All the Red Ribbon soldiers, they all died, I think. They were all caught in the blast. Um, that one guy at the suit, he died. I'm surprised, you know? I'm used to, like, people being teleported away or something. People died. People are dying. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, deaths. And then, big spoiler here. Warning. Uh, the hero death. One of the heroes died, which was surprising. I, they went, I'm surprised they did that, because they showed so much of them together. So I think that, that made it hit more. So that, that that was cool. That felt like the movie was uh, worth watching for sure for that. Like, uh, the sacrifice was, you know, it's not just like, okay, everyone's fine at the end. No, people died. This was a world threat. Okay. There was a lot of hype for that cell maximum. I, I got uh, some funky boy vibes from um, Redline vibes from that. Unleashing cell maximum was, that was again, that was really cool. I like, that was probably my favorite part in the movie. There was like a looming music, a song during that, uh, when Goku, Gohan transformed out. That was the only song that really stood out. Uh, where Bro Dragon Ball Broly had a bunch of good music. But this movie just had that one part where Cell was making a giant ball. And like Gohan stopped it or whatever. Uh, that was There was like a song playing. I don't know what that was. It was a very low-key song. But it was a cool form. It kind of got it out of nowhere. I mean, Piccolo didn't even die, really. See, Piccolo always does that. He always, he always looks like he's going to die, but he's fine. So I don't know why Go Gohan's so surprised that he's dead and he transformed dead. Um, but he got really angry when they, 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 they uh, told him Videl was captured. That was kind of weird, though. Like, is he really just, like, he would just power up? That's just the rage he has. He just destroyed his own house because of that. Even though a gun was pointed at him and all that. Uh, I don't know if Saiyans can get shot when their guard is down, but like, but the yeah, I don't know. He powered up. He's just that kind of seemed unnecessary, but it is a movie. I guess uh, you know he just got really angry. His daughter, you know, I wouldn't know. I guess that uh, how that would be. Um, his daughter was. Uh, kidnapped you know i guess he would rage super saiyan though i guess um it's a good shot no everything but uh they have to fix that house now um videl i mean pan videl seems like a different character entirely from her teenage self i guess that happens with age uh, i guess she just went through a complete character change like she was angry and like kind of sassy and a, a fighter. Like, Chi Chi never really changed. She was nice. Oh, well, actually, she was nice when she was younger, I think. But now she's more so angry. Usually. Maybe that's what's happening. But reverse for, for, uh, Bidel. I never got that, though. I guess, you know, that happens. She was humbled. Now she, once she figured out Gohan, who Gohan was, really, it kind of settled there. She got humbled a lot. Maybe that's what happened. And giving birth, that does it. 
Okay, fair enough. But uh, anyway, yeah, Gohan's hair is huge in his new form. Yeah, it's like Trunks. Trunks is God form. It's similar to that. I like it this one better though, for sure. It's got like the Ultra Instinct Gray. It's very similar. I wonder if that. I wonder if that uh, it's similar to Ultra Instinct. It has something to do with it. Maybe Gohan also was hanging hanging around a lot of gods and powerful people during the Tournament of Power. So maybe he felt that key, got used to it, to go into that form like Trunks did in that short amount of time. So uh, yeah, that's all believable when you think about it. But uh, yeah, the Gohan battle was very short, though. I, I thought Tr Cell was going to transform. But then again, he wasn't fully ready, you know. Uh, but uh, I guess then we, they, then we would have had a fight. Maybe it would have been less believable if he was just like perfect. Okay, he's actually, he was ready the whole time. No, he wasn't ready, and they took him out. You know, that's all they had to do. It was cool. So he died. Hero died. Um, that guy survived and is helping Bulma now. Doctor, what's his name? The, 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 uh, the guy who made the new androids. Doctor whatever. Meepo. Something like that. He's part of the crew now. Broly. So we got to see Broly meet Beerus. We, he, they, they, uh, they just met in this movie. So that's cool to see that. Him meeting everybody. And uh, them training Broly. Seeing how they progressed. Um, I was all good and dandy. All right. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I just felt like the fight at the end kind of was... It, there was a fight, but, like, Gohan was very short. Uh, we got a few glimpses there. Like, maybe two minutes to three minutes of the new form. Um, which is fine, I guess. The next one... I wonder what they're going to do next. What's the next movie? Maybe they're going to release the anime, then there's going to be, like, a Moro movie or something or maybe a moral movie introducing it that arc um who knows oh, yeah trunks and goten fused that was cool and they were actually useful as the fat gogeta he's not completely useless they used him as like a volleyball um yeah once uh gohan transformed before he transformed, like everyone was dying, like he felt if really he really felt like he was by himself there. Once Piccolo and the others like chimed in real quick and then they got slapped. And then Gohan was like, It was it, you had to do you have to do something now, Gohan, or else this is it. You're the only guy. Except for like Tien or something, but they're not gonna do anything. How many times can you stall? So I guess Gohan unleashed his power there. Piccolo used the opportunity to uh make Gohan feel there but uh, that's basically everything uh, this video has been running long here damn I took a while did I say anything did I so yeah do I stand now that I said all that let me take a look at my rating again 7.6 I think that's yeah I think I'm, I'm good with that that's a good rating that's fine it's good good theater I want to go again for the Japanese version I did I watched the English dub I should have point I should have said that first. I wanna go back I'm gonna to try to go back tomorrow maybe for the Japanese. Maybe. If the tickets are cheap enough. And uh I don't wanna go crazy here. But I do wanna see that Japanese dub. I saw the Japanese Broly vs Broly movie first. I like I can dig it. The English dub I got used to. The first couple uh, minutes there, I wasn't liking it, but then you just forget about it, you just accept it. You get used to it, and it's all good. You don't hear anything anymore. It's all normal. Um, loved it. Uh, pretty good movie there. So good enough that I'll see it again, probably. We'll see. In Japanese. I said I was going to see the Batman movie again, but I didn't. So this one I'll probably see again. We'll see for sure. I think so, though. I, I'm, I really am interested to see, to hear how the... The, the Japanese dub is the voices. I could wait for the clips, but uh, or maybe I will watch the clips on YouTube. We'll see. 
Um, it's good. They made Piccolo really cool. I'm really glad how they made him now in this one. He seems like a main character for sure. He looks really good in this. Really good. Uh, but yeah, that's all. I'll end up that. That's good. That's all I'm going to say before this video is like an hour. Uh, so go watch it, guys. I was going to bring my dad, but I didn't do that. I went with a friend instead. That was good. That was a good decision there, I think. There's a lot of... My dad wouldn't have liked the beginning, for sure. Even the ending. It, was, it wouldn't have been worth it for the ending for him. Uh, it's good, though. Go see it, man. Good little movie. Um, bought popcorn. Too too much popcorn. Too much too many nachos. Too salty. Too much soda. Wasted it. Wasted a lot. Didn't want to consume too much. I tried to eat as much as I could. Okay. It's not even about the movie anymore. About the experience. Um, Alright, we're good. See y'all later. Till the next time. Next Dragon Ball thing.